The overall goal of the experiment is to observe the effect of anti-angiogenic therapy in a mouse model of corneal neovascularization. This is achieved by briefly applying a 1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide to the mouse eye to induce a controlled level of corneal neovascularization. As a second step, the anti-angiogenic compound is administered daily, which inhibits the growth of new vessels into the injured cornea. Next, the mouse is euthanized and the injured eye harvested, dissected, and immune-stained in order to quantify the level of neovascularization and inflammation. The results show a quantifiable reduction in neovascularization based on both clinical observation and immunostaining. The implications of this technique extend towards new therapies for corneal blindness because it provides a reproducible level of neovascularization against which you can test new compounds and therapies. So this method can provide insight into the pathologic corneal neovascularization. It can also be a model to explore the mechanisms of angiogenesis and inflammation in general. Demonstrating the procedure will be Qin Baozhou, a postdoc in my laboratory. To prepare for the alkali burn injury, begin by soaking a round piece of filter paper approximately 2 mm in diameter in a solution of 1 molar sodium hydroxide. Then anesthetize a mouse with an injection of 100 mg per kg ketamine and 5 mg per kg xylazine. After 1-2 to two minutes, test the depth of anesthesia by gently pinching the